Hello, heathens. PB here. It is uh, September the 12th. Yes, September the 12th. It is 6.45 in the morning in uh, Utah Territory. Anyway, uh, got off work at midnight and uh, headed out, slept for a couple of hours, and I've still got about a three, three and a half hour drive. Meet up with DFX somewhere out here in the Utah Territory and spend a couple of days hunting with him. Anyway, it's gonna be a good time. I'm glad to get out. The temperature's about 50 degrees right now. It is so refreshing. You have no idea. And uh, I am ecstatic to be back out in the fresh air. Anyway, talk to you in a little bit and uh, let's see what we find. See ya, bye. All right, PB here. And uh, we just started, hadn't walked but what, 40 feet from the truck and surface fine, part of a bitters bottle. That's very cool, some pieces, of, some of the glass is here too, so I'll just clip that up with my obsession for trying to glue things back together. And uh, maybe the rest of it's floating around here, that'd be cool if it is. So that's cool, I'll take it. Nice surface fine, I'll just walk it back to the truck. All right, talk to you in a little bit. Bye. All right. DFX just called me over. He's got himself a uh, complete oh boy, 4570 drop. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Nice start. Very good start. Yeah, it's me like pre, yeah, pre 77. Yeah. Nice. Well done. Yeah. On to the next one. Awesome, well done. Alright, the effects just hold and oh there it is. Yeah, let's do this about. So we've walked quite a while. <laughs> what time is it? It's quarter, it's quarter past one. Ah, it is? Yeah, bloody hell. Anyway, so we've been out here about uh, two and a half hours. Walked around, we've probably done a mile or so, maybe more. And uh, the wind's blowing pretty good, that's why there hasn't been much in the way of videos right now, but this is worthy of it. May I pick it up? Yeah, go ahead. And it is a complete artillery primer. Now the long piece was the part that went down into the cannon. There'd be a wire that's attached to the little loop right there. Yank it out, the friction in there would cause a spark, go down the tube into the powder in the cannon, and uh, obviously, boom. So that's very cool. That's nice to find a whole one though. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Sir. All right. On to the next one. All right. When DFX hollered, I just dug a target. I got in two of the wire pieces of a friction primer right there, and I had another signal. And there it is right there. You can see the tube. Let's see what we got. Ah, it's just half the tube. But still, that's part of a friction primer. Very cool. I'll take it. On to the next one. All right, I had to video this one because this is actually on the surface. I just can't believe that myself and DFX have never seen this one before. So there it is, 5070 cartridge on the surface. Very cool. On to the next one. So here's a little uh, class, and I'm going to thank DFX for the uh, education on this. I found these 5070 backings, the bases of the cartridges all in one area and I've just found another one and DFX has informed me that he's found out that these were used as checkers so right now I've got five and I mean literally here's one there's one there's one there's one they're all from this one little area right here so I'm just gonna work it see how many I can find but I got five now the weird thing is they're ringing up like 90 95 but faint so that's really cool I'm stoked checkers game pieces from the 1870s amazing all right on to the next one all right DFX uh, well, let me just preface this by saying it's very windy today. that's why we haven't done many uh, videos much videoing today however this is worthy of it because uh, DFX has dug himself a button it's our first eagle button today and uh, let's see what it is well, it's a small coat isn't it Ooh, no shank. No shank. Geocache, number 844. Yeah, general service. Yeah, general service. Well 
done. Yep, general service. General service coat. Very nice. All right, well done. On to the next one. Uh, DFX is on a roll now. He's just surfaced fine. Found a cappy button buckle right there. Yep. Very nice. Cool. All, All right. right. On to the next one. Nice. Well, it was in the. It was a 39.40. So, anyway, folks, looks like I just got me a nice. It's my first one here. Yeah. A number eight. I don't think we're giving it away, are we? Because they were all over the place. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. 8th Infantry. Awesome. I'll take it. On to the next one. Alright, well, we're braving the winds here. Yeah, thanks just got himself a letter K. Awesome. That's awesome, dude. Almost. Oh, you almost made a shame, didn't you? Did you just make a shame? Oh, like, that. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Well, this is definitely uh, oh, it's a one. Oh, yeah, that's a one. So I got an eight, the FX got a K, okay. and now I just got a one. Yeah. Now, what we, what, we, what, what we suspect, we are in an area where we think Okay, my turn finally. <laughs> ah, finally, to have a to get a button, and it is a. It's got the shank. Okay, what is it? What is it? General service. Oh, nice one. Too. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. I'll take it. On to the next one. Got. It. it hit your shovel. There it is, by your left foot. You see it? It's over there, it's right there, it's right there. There it is. Okay. So, right now, we're standing around like, how's your father? Um, I, I see, I think I see the pipe. There it is, it's part of, there's your, there's your, there's another piece. There you go. Okay, so. That's the end of it. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. That must be it. So, I bet that piece probably fits on this. So, I, about 10 minutes ago, I found this on the surface as part of a pipe. Didn't think anything of it, threw it in my container. The effects just dug up parts to a pipe, and we think this piece here, most likely, I bet it fits on that back piece that it's broken. Yeah, it does, because so, it's fire. So, that's cool, we found parts of a, a pipe. So anyway, we'll uh, get it together later on. Right, enjoy. All right, PV here. And uh, with DFX take two, take two. And the reason I'm saying, was, yeah, we're saying, the reason I'm saying take two is I thought I was recording on take one, and apparently I was not because I'm like going, hey, the camera shut off. Anyway, yeah, let's go back to what we were doing. Let's put everything back. All right, we're going to try this again. So, DFX is fine. A uh, couple of rivets on the leather, pottery, 50-70s, 45-70s, uh, square nail, horse. Horse nail, it was mystery, them, but yeah, mystery nice circle thing. Too. Part of a the mantle to a lantern. Two forty-five seventies. One uh, one's complete. That's already like that, right? Yeah, when I yeah. went to pull it out of the ground, it okay. came apart. Uh, fired forty-five seventies, fired fifty seventies. Clay pipe parts, which we've uh, discussed earlier. Um, Cannon friction primer. Thank you. I don't know why I'm not mind blank. Cannon friction primers. He got two e uh, an eagle button and a an iron uh, four hole, and then he got a nice K and part of a K. The rest of it must be out there somewhere. Yeah, I checked around the hole. Cappy and a cappy buckle. So they were DFX's finds. His best find being the the K. Uh, K.5, as we're calling it. So that's his best one. Uh, my stuff, uh, friction primers, whole bunch of them, couple of pieces of lead, 
557 is some drop uh, fired 5070 casings a very short 4570 which we'll show you in comparison to a regular 4570 so we're assuming this is for the carbine very cool and let's see uh, these 5070s came with these which we discussed earlier they are game pieces for checkers which is very good and uh, the other thing that DFX was telling me off camera was when they used to king them what they when they were playing checkers when they when they kinged one of these things they'd actually remove that and they would replace it with a flattened button eagle, yeah, eagle button and this one's very flat so that could have been one could have been there not where I found it but still the theory is there so anyway these were found same location as this so we're assuming that they were probably getting ready to make some more yep. never got around to it uh, and then I got the my buttons or oh, mystery circle item buttons two general service eagle eye uh, sword hanger a one an eight and then the mystery item is this iron disc roughly cut so it has M Ramsey stamped on it so if anybody knows who M Ramsey is, is please let him know he's missing his disc and uh, that's about it I'm gonna go with my best finds being the uh, the one and the eight and probably the mystery disc just in case it's an ID tag and if it's not oh well it's still kind of cool possible there might be a little more I don't know I'm wondering there. if there's another one before the M so Get home and see yeah we'll see so anyway that's uh that's our finds for the day uh six hours not a bad hunt i'm knackered i'm working on about two hours sleep uh so i'm ready to go back and have a couple of beers barbecue and uh fall asleep on the couch <laughs> <laughs> while talking to dfx or while dfx is talking and i'm listening intently right <laughs> Right. <laughs> anyway, some uh, so from somewhere in the Utah Territory, uh, say goodbye to FX. Goodbye. <laughs> and I'll say goodbye too, and we will talk to you later. Happy hunting, and good luck.